Again, Ungtava, Terila, Ne, Apime, MCC, Gusuma, Asan, Nokre City, Matahekiavati, and above. Again, Obutuman Lage, Samaloch, and Kamitu Arta, Mirate, Prabalang, Tamate, Rumarane. They may have received the report yesterday. It will take some more time for them to finalize this. Putumala, Yojanakalatina, the Mika, Sankaranavanang, Mindamiogi. There is no such thing as if the report is being signed. This agreement should not be signed. If this is being considered in future, then it is a new agreement. You must not say no to this simply because it is a grant. We must look into it properly. In such an instance, if this can be made in a way that the projects do not hinder the welfare of the country, if it does not affect the future generations of our country negatively, then it is all right for us to think about approving such agreements. But those have to be looked into properly and the relevant approvals should be obtained. <laughs> Never Sakaskiri Makaranda Puluan, Alutman Maliako, because other than the Sudan, Unata Kamakne, Salaka Bala, and Yamadu and Meting Aragon. The duty of the committee ends from this point. However, your duty does not end here. As journalists read the report that has been prepared by the committee, governments may change, but the country must exist. We must not allow foreign entities to meddle with the internal affairs of our country. We must not betray our country, not only for 480 million US dollars but even for 4,800 million US dollars as well. Dollar million is not going to be Dollar million is not going to be able to do it. But it is not going the Philippine government withdraws its application for the second cycle of grants from the United States aid-giving body Millennium Challenge Corporation. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says the government wants to prioritize the funding of the Marawi City of Rehabilitation. Roque says, quote, We are confident that the U.S. government fully understands the decision to reallocate our funding priority for this year and that this will not in any way adversely impact our eligibility for another round of compact assistance in the future because it calls for counterpart financing as well. He adds the withdrawal does not mean the Philippines will never accept grants from the MCC. Roque also denies that the Philippines' withdrawal has anything to do with criticisms by U.S. officials on President Rodrigo Duterte's controversial war on drugs.